I'm talking about his teeth fell out. There was nothing there. It's just gum. Like gum a, looked like gullybop. No, swear down. Brother, as he t- one tooth was hanging. He looked like gullybop. Dame Dash looked like gullybop. I promise you. In fact, I'm going to try and put up a picture right now of Dame Dash with the teeth and gullybop. And you tell me if they're not the same people. Gullybop reincarnated. Gully Dash. <laughs> so he hasn't got... Right. Check, check. We're in the building. Another episode, Elephant in the Room podcast. Your boy, C6. Your boy, this is up in the building. Come on, man. We're here. We're here. It's above, it's Have no fear. Have no fear. Your boys are here. And C6, but, can't grow him here. No. I oh, know that was, no, you know what? No, no, sorry. Sorry. You know what? I apologize. Take that back. Because you, you can't do that. N- no, I'm doing a disrespect. Yeah, that, that you is can't dis- be 50 yeah, and man. And you can't grow a beard talking about I can't grow hair. Bro, I'm telling you. That's can I say something? I don't, that's the part where you, you don't you know. Well, Lahi, I don't. You wish you could. Do you know what I'm saying? That's a bird. That's, can I say something to you? <laughs> I don't know birds on my face. I know that I'm, I, I don't like you them type wish. of thing. See, like when I have this little scrubble, it annoys me and I keep touching it. So I don't want to keep touching my face. But this is man. This is man. It's not a man. It's not a man. Seriously, this is testosterone. It's not. It's too much testosterone. I like my you estrogen. Ain't got I like, like my estrogen. estrogen. Hello. <laughs> smooth. Kiss me smooth. <laughs> smooth. This is the smoothie. Estrogen gang. Yeah. I said, estrogen. Eastside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, okay. So what, are you part of the um the baby oil family? Like, is that oh your, my is that God. Your, is that your thing? Are you just going to drive straight in? You're straight. Gonna, no, wait, you're going to slide straight in. You look at the slide. It, look, straight you know in. All right. This is what this episode is called. This is called... This is called did, A did Thousand he, Bottles of Baby Oil. No, Diddy did versus Baby Oil. <laughs> Brother, I just want to understand this, yeah? So they raided his house. Yeah. They've arrested him. He's been denied bail. Oh, we're going to get to that as well. Right, There's so, too much so points it's, on it's, it. It's serious things now, this, but this, yeah. they've said they've discovered a thousand bottles of baby oil. Now, all I want to know... Wait. Is, hold on. Could you not, no, wait. Before the baby oil, I just want to know, is there anything in, the, in this lifetime that you need... A thousand bottles of. That's why I said you wait. Cause you just you misconstrued um, the whole thing. Mm. It's a thousand bottles of baby oil, and five hundred gallons or five hundred bottles of lube. Yeah, they won't just wave oil and lube. You forgot the lube. So what? This man's got five hundred ky and a thousand baby oil. Yes. What the fuck is going on? Place, bro. That sounds nuts to that alone sounds mad to what me. What is going on? Do you know the maddest thing? It leaves your brain to the imagination of weirdness. You can't fathom that. Because what I what do you do? What are you all right? The what lube, I know. The lube, the lube, I know. No, you don't know about that much lube. It's like he wants to go inside someone completely. Like with the 500 bottles of lube, Forget he's gonna just climb He's doing bodying. He's gonna, be a, he's gonna put himself inside there. Yeah, he's not doing fisting. He's no, doing bodying. Yeah, yeah. He's whole, the whole body. Yeah, he's, he's inside. He's, he's fucking the, the whole. With his Brother, own. sorry, he, you can't even. I didn't even go to explicit. Yeah, let's not get silly with it. <laughs> but I just don't understand what is going on. All, that, bro. To be honest, that level of freakism. I don't want to understand. Cause it, he got arrested on that. Then, bro, they're if, focusing on ba- the whole case is going to be about the baby oil. If you <laughs> no, the, they're not even going to take. They don't care about the racketeering. They just want the, the un- people trafficking. We need to understand. You can't be on road. Th- that's not normal. No, can you like? I'm just trying to think. Like the delivery driver delivering this, just like boxes after like. What's going on here? There's bro. There's not a single. There's not a single explanation and the on the thing, planet. That when makes I done the video, I, I I I missed that certain thing because I didn't even get to see how big the, there were giant size bottles as well. You know, there were the normal like. I say what you say a thousand industrial size. There bottles. was a big liter, couple of liters to the bottle. Browski. I haven't even seen that on so much on Pornhub. No, but it does. I'm just, I'd, pff, wow. That is not, that's all right. You know, you stock up for like a part. That was a stare. All right. So let me just, just in case any, it's gone over anyone's head. P. Diddy had a, it's like they've, they're starting to just talk about the contents of his yard. A thousand bottles of baby oil, 500 bottles of lube for his freak off parties. Mm-hmm. But that's excessive. But it's so excessive. It just, it just makes you wonder what is going on. But then they spoke about things like, after these days and days of these freak-offs, yeah, 
it, like people would get be given IV, IV lines, you know, to come down, mm-hmm. you know, like to rehydrate. Yeah. And people were drugged. And brother, sex workers and this and everything's filmed. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. To be honest, these are levels levels of perversion. I don't even want to even. So even if say, imagine none of this was. There's no trafficking. There's nothing against mm-hmm. anybody's will. There's everything is purely above board and everything is mm-hmm. um, consensual. Just yeah. even, just saying that. Yeah. I still don't want to deal. I still don't want nothing to do with this. But I understand. Yeah. I don't want to understand it. I don't even want. Like I just, you stay over Dessa. Yeah. Because if that's what you're on, stay over Dessa. I mean, I depend on that. Mm-hmm. So then, when you add all of these non-consensual, this that trafficking, beating, it just amplifies it. But then, uh, yeah, thousand bottles. Big up Junior Booker because I saw your video first. I didn't yeah. even see this thing. You know, I saw your video. I was thinking, yeah. there's no way. Then I saw Junior Booker, thousand baby bottles. Yeah, you know, and I was thinking. So I, then I did a little Google, and then I saw mm. it, and I was in shock, bro. It was mad. It's mad. It's mad. Yeah. So the Booker thing. That was a funny one as well. It was funny. But um, it's it's sad, though, because he's going to bring down a lot of people, you know. He did. Did. Uh, did. Did. He's not going to bring down a lot of people. So, you know, Usher, them man, then all people that went to the party. It's man like you. If you went to the party, I know you'd be fretting right now. Because there's no well, way you that... You couldn't catch me in them parties. I don't even go to... I don't even go to regular parties. What about, what I began to freak off for? Honestly, brother, you couldn't catch me... What is me. a freak off, though? Well, how it's been it described... Sounds sick, how though, it's been but described is this. But it's you, nuts. You just... If you you got to be elite in it, you're in his elite class. Yeah. You get invited to his parties, and as you get there, it's just you just every, every anything goes. That's what I yeah. like. Anything goes. You can ex, you can just do anything you want with anyone you want in any room you want. I just think it's wild, but you have to know it's all been filmed by him, and then that's I think the control. This is why I think that a lot of the shit really does go down because they film it and it's evidence. Now, you're a star in the making. You're here. You've just done a madness with them three girl and them two man. You've been involved in some weird stuff with a lot of baby oil. <laughs> yeah. And it's all been filmed. You can't it, listen, that's you. Brother, your whole career, we can turn you we can turn it all upside down right now. So just comply with Wagwan. Play the game. See, hypothetically speaking, you was the big DJ, well known, and then you had a little fetish, and then someone showed you a video of you entering a man's back door. No, what? No, no, no. <laughs> let's not even. But well, we're not playing games like that. Even if we're going to do hypotheticals, let's keep them re- as realistic as possible. It, this is that's re- not happening, <laughs> brother. Don't, I, that, nah, don't even piss me off, bro. No, no. Do something else. Say something else. Like I stole something. Let's just do something. Yeah, I've robbed someone. And it's they, I've <laughs> stolen something that's petty. Like it's petty teeth. You're not something that will embarrass me. Yeah, no, but nothing like that, bro. We're not doing that. No, I'm sorry. No, don't piss me off. About I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Don't do that, bro. Not even, we're, not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not. You see, once you start accepting silly hypotheticals, that's the first step. I'm not interested. There's, come off of that step there. We're not doing that. Oh. Fuck <laughs> idiot. Tasty. So, change the hypothetical and just rewind and come back again. The car. We're not doing that. I'm going to spray it. <laughs> Fool. We're not doing that. I'm not playing them games with you. Idiot. I'm just saying. No, bro. No. <laughs> no. 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 Big up the patrons. Big up the YouTube family. Big up everyone. Listen, I'm, I'm, we haven't bigged you up. But listen, you know we love you like cook food. Big you up. Big you up. Yeah. Now, start another scenario. Paint, re- repaint it. Because I say something to you. Yeah. The reason why it has to be gruesome like that. We're not doing that. Wait, though. Listen to my analogy. <laughs> my reasoning. reason why I'm saying it has to be something so peak that I could have you by the balls for. Why for that? But you know what I mean? Okay, but it doesn't so, have to be that. No, but I'm just saying, you, just, just hypothetically saying you had a mad fetish. <laughs> Involving women. Keep it straight. Keep it normal. Keep what? It straight, bro. I can't film you doing normal stuff. You're not gonna, I'm just not going to have straight, you in my bro. pocket for you doing normal stuff. I want to catch you in your fantasies. 
<sighs> I did that. Whatever, fa- I did, whatever fantasies you got that you don't know until now. All right, wrote. there you go. But it's to do with, we're not doing that. The, yeah, go on. You, it's a mad fantasy. All right, and you don't want. No, you, yeah, I don't want no one to know. No one to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I filmed you at my yard. Yeah, you've caught it. Caught it on camera. Yeah. And I said, oh, hey, Caesar, you know, I've got. You better come play at every party of mine for free. And you're going to do it. But you see, the thing this is, this is what they do. This is what they do. But you know, if, if that happened and you tried to blackmail me like that, because I know you, you wouldn't stop at come and play at parties. For no, it doesn't stop there. Come and play at parties for Why, you. Did I run say it's run me there? some money here, run me some money. I'd bar kill you. you. But you can't because I'm the big man. Brother. And you're just a. You catch what I'm dealing with? Bro- Hypothetically you'd be speaking. Done, brothers, you know what? When you're going to your local Chinese, how? Somebody would get you, bro. How? You think I'm going to be blackmailed forever? You're going to get you, bro. And if anybody get me, that's going to be released into the wild. <laughs> you don't even know who's going to so go on to get me then. Because yeah. anytime I go, everything's it's going to come out. out. So you say, I, I, if I, I don't get home by insurance. seven, it's automatically uploaded. Yes, that's, that's my, that's my, that's my, my insurance well, you, card. Well, you're just blackmailing loads of people. That's your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what they do. Because that won't happen to me. That ain't happening to me. Because why would I be in your yard <laughs> Henceforth, doing that's, foolish? No, that's why you go. That's why you leave. I have the podcast. You go. We you see your set, you go. You know, and you know, I end up play. on Jojo. The thing is, I'm not interested in not, nothing like that. But I hear you. But this is definitely what they do. They they got people under under all sorts. And you know what? There are things that imagine. Yeah, there's things that you've done in whether you're with your partner or on your own that you don't want the. It's not for the world. It was just for. It was just for whoever was in this space. Yeah, it's, we've all done that. You know, <laughs> if there was a secret camera of you. And then, then a man said to you, yo, listen. With a private freak up with all your Thursday girl. the 7th of June. You and that girl there. You and that girl in your room. I've got it here. That's that's when it gets crazy. Because you're like, yo, this is this is my own space. What are we doing? I didn't go to a party. You're in, like, do you get what I'm saying? Even though you've got that defense of this isn't fair. <laughs> this is my yard. It's still like, you don't want no one to know. But yeah, I think. But then that's when people... Like start to when they when you've got blackmailing like capabilities, it's when it all goes left. So I just say to people, just conduct yourself really, just conduct yourself proper, man. Like yeah, mad going to these freak offs, mad. And I I don't I think everybody that went there is involved in some things. Everyone can't mm-hmm. be going to a diddy party and not seeing nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, because people people know about diddy. They all know about Diddy, so yeah. This is nasty, you know. Yeah, madness, madness. There's a lot of people like that. I think with the power, it's obviously just gone a bit crazy. But he's done out here. He's done out here, and it's sad, you know, because he was like, he was like a mogul. Like, so forget, not just an artist. Mm -hmm. You know, like a businessman. Yeah, made a lot of money. He was like a, he was someone that people could look up to outside of being a rapper or being mm-hmm. like you could business wise. Yeah. Suge Knight, this, that, mm-hmm. you know, CEO, you know what I mean? They're all mash up. Look at Dame Dash. Yeah. Done out. No tea done out. I thought he had money though. Tea falling out his mouth. No, Dame, they're lying about Dame Dash. Dame Dash is Brock. He's not Brock. He's Brock. I would never believe that. He's Brock. I don't believe that. He's Brock. You're just saying that's a joke, isn't it? Bro, he was saying there was a, Basically, 50 Cent came out and said, Dame Dash spoke, said, oh, this million dollars ain't no money. Now Dame Dash ain't got no money. Whatever, yeah? Cool. That's my point, because Dame Dash was a man but who Dame came Dash came money. and had, he went and spoke about the 50 Cent thing and put uh, ch- challenged the 50 Cent. Oh, yeah, well, let's do a CEO for CEO battle, whatever. Drop your network. I'll drop my network. Anyway, he done another video and his teeth fell out. His teeth fell out. He's got, like, no teeth. You Dinches. know? Remember, the, but you remember we spoke about the veneers thing, yeah. And we was talking about if people pull them out, yeah. The liquid, yeah. I'm talking about his teeth fell out. There was nothing there, just gum, <laughs> like gum a, looked like gullybop. No swear down, brother. As he t- one tooth was hanging, he looked like gullybop. Dame Dash looked like gullybop. I promise you. In fact, I'm gonna try and put up a picture right now of Dame Dash with the teeth and gullybop. And you tell me if they're not the same people. Gullybop reincarnated. Gully Dash. <laughs> so he hasn't got, like... Anyway, anyway, so it's all come out that he's... So basically, I just think that his money, I don't think that anything that he's really invested, he's involved in is, is flourishing. No, but this is mad to me, because this is a new topic, because Dame, if you Google Dame Dash, he's always giving that 
positive affirmation and he's talking about but no he's but he's not if you listen he's talking about like how the wealth and this yeah, and how to keep you your wealth be your boss yeah and, and you be, can't yeah. work for, but you see it see it comes across really i was watching a the breakfast club interview Reese, like because after all of this come out i started to look that, back anyway he's doing this breakfast yeah. club thing and he's talking all sorts like trying to embarrass people for working you can't work how, how, your son can't be proud of you if you work for somebody mm. you got to be a boss you got to be a boss but then you start looking at his business ethic his work ethic his business relationships and then you start to realize like where is he making money mm. what has he got that's thriving you look at nas you look at ring doorbell you know say that's okay yeah. there's money being made you, it's a tangible line do you get what i'm saying you start looking at everyone else's investments and you can start okay i can see where that makes mm. sense the the casamigos is george clooney yeah do you get okay. what i'm saying yeah like that, your homework. Mon money in that yeah yeah like you start looking at things and you start, oh shit, I can see where there's 50 cent. All the, you can start seeing where the money's come. Like Google Dame Dash, Google Dame Dash's businesses, his investments. You tell me where the money is coming from. Ain't nobody streaming reasonable doubt. And that's, why he's selling, <laughs> that's why he's selling it. He's selling his, his share of Rockefeller. Swear. And reasonable doubt is that the, he's got like, but ain't nobody, when they think of Jay-Z, they're not streaming and buying that. Like, it definitely makes residual money, but it's not enough. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Unless he has, unless, and Jay-Z knows that. That's he, why he hates he, on Jay-Z like that. Yeah, but Jay-Z knows he don't own it. No. So if Jay-Z was to do like a re-release of any song, I promise you he's not re-releasing anything from Reasonable Doubt, knowing that he doesn't have the right. So much of the two of them, it's like me and you, we'd come with like, all right, then say we had um, chalk and cheese and everything. Then, all right, then I've gone off with it. And then you've stayed, you've just... Lived off a little bit of the cheese. Now I've I've you run off with the chalk. <laughs> with the chalk. Now I'm chalking up the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a billionaire. You're just done out. Cheese. You yeah. get me? One deck, two deck. <laughs> <laughs> just done out. Scraping. Yeah. How would you feel? No, you know what it is. You of course you feel shit. Because you feel shit if you if you went your separate ways and you were both successful. Like, no, but no, if we if you split up and you go your separate ways and all you do is, you know, like you 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 d diss each other. And do you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like there's gonna be success. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, look, all right, boom. Chalk and cheese is gone. Chris and um Kane have got a fantastic podcast doing yeah. big things. Yeah. Big them up. Yeah. They deserve where they are. Like yeah. you get what I'm saying? Their podcast is booming. Yeah. If we there was bad blood, and we were we were enemies, mm. and we were bad minding them. Yeah. Then the the, the level gap mm -hmm. would be like you'd feel shit. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But mm. you can't feel shit when it's when you're when everybody when there's good blood. Yeah. And everyone's yeah. nice. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So they had bad blood. So mm -hmm. when the when the when the levels have grown apart, one looks and the one that is the successful one. Was deemed to be the victim of this. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. they Dame Dash was supposed to be the head or whatever. Yeah. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. that how he used to go on, like yeah, yeah. He man. was Rockefeller. To be fair, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah, like yeah, Mr. Yeah. Rockefeller. Yeah. So so it looks fucked up because he, he didn't even have no teeth, brother. Brother, he's gully bot, bro. Fucking no, hell, that's sad. You, it's, no, it's, but I'm. I see that. That's where my bad mind gene will kick into its maximum full effect. Because you're like saying that. You're gone off and being a billionaire. Cause you're a billionaire. Never me. You're yeah. You can't chat to me. You can't. can't you can't even. You I, can't be in my vicinity. I, I, I just want to say, I can't even knock on your door. Yeah. No, but knock on what? Door? I you can't, can't even get past you the, the road. I can't say I'm gonna come check you and the surprise. No. There's no surprise. Nothing. No, no, no. It's like the main public trying to say we're gonna surprise. Jay. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, yeah. You got what I mean. So I've got no access to you. Yeah. yeah. And I'm there, lip brack, and my teeth dropping out on TV. It's dropping out. You're fucking, man. I'm preying you. I'm gonna send you what you said. Yeah, you can go to the chicken shop once. <laughs> you slip then. Well, slip. I promise you. You see, Dame. You see arrogance here. Yeah. And bad mind is because yeah, when yeah. you because remember, bad mind you can't hide from. No, no, no. It's, it, it comes back and bites. You. It bites you if you're bad mind. It, no matter how you portray, the bad mind's inside you. Yeah, it come back and, and bite it, you. it tracks because whatever you you get, yeah, because bad you mind give people out, don't live what good. You give out, you get back. Your bad mind people don't live good. You see what I'm saying? And that's impossible. But his arrogance, yeah, and his the way he puts people down. He's like people say he's hard to work with. Now, remember, you know, you're, some people look at their status 
their temporary status because every status that we go through in life is temporary. Mm-hmm. We have we can elevate, but it's still like today's wealth and today's success is temporary because mm-hmm. it could all crumble tomorrow or it could all improve tomorrow. But today's is temporary. Mm-hmm. But if you get too big and bossy based on your today, you're less likely to keep climbing tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You're going to grow downwards because of your attitude. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? You're going to start repelling people and repelling business and repelling like success coming towards you because it, it doesn't like ugly. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I think throughout the years, he allowed his success and his wealth and whatever to push people away. So yeah, sad, sad to see. Because I actually... I actually watched these interviews and was like, oh, damn, that shit. Do you know what I'm saying? But the mm-hmm. more you look into it, it's a lot of smoke, bruv. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of smoke. It says a lot of good stuff, but I ain't really doing like major stuff. Yeah, Indian like, football. Putting other people down. It's good. Because the little, the little piece, some people make, some people are very successful, but without the the big, big bucks, but mm-hmm. they're consistent. And consistency over time get you into something big you know look at Shaq and all of his investments um and then you look at Rick Ross and Wingstop and all like you start just looking at investments because most of these people that have gone on to do big things they ain't making money from music yeah they're making money from investments Rihanna where do you think she gets all her money from this makeup line mm. I don't even remember what it's called like the girls them know but that's ma- that money that 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 makeup money mm-hmm. is a hundred times bigger than our music money. Mm-hmm. Investments. You get me? So, but yeah. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Big up, um, Gully Bop Dane and um, Dame. And, but yeah, and um, we're not bigging up baby oil, baby oil, man. Mm-hmm. We're not doing that. That's, that's kind of fucked up, man. Baby oil. Baby oil. Okay, this is, this is a quick random one. Oh my God, this is on C6. Hi. What should I do? I had a quickie with my ex without protection. I went straight home and got into bed with my partner. My partner went down. (laughs) My My partner went down on me and said that I tasted amazing. Ah, second hand. Okay. He is now wondering why I taste like that and don't taste like that anymore. <laughs> Should I tell him the truth? I am a Caucasian and he is Jamaican. All right. Firstly, firstly, I feel like it's so disrespectful for anyone. <laughs> Your face like that. <laughs> no, nah, because this shit is disgusting, bro. It's it's so disrespectful to go and have sex out a road with no doms, and then come home and she and even have bathed. sex straight away without bathing she or something. Bathed. So I'm, she, I know it happens. When she said, "I'm not gonna," no, I'm not dissing the Caucasian. <laughs> I know it happens. I know it happens. I know it happens. But bathe, and you see if your man. Tries to, yeah, say, to him, say, say to him, stop. I've been Isn't out it? all day, babe. Yeah, I'm, yeah come with some let excuses. Me go and sh- let me go and have a bath, babe. Yes. I've been out all day, babe. I respect them, Gally. Yeah, let me not. Let, like, you understand? Uh, not doing not them, Gally, I have to respect. Babe, we're not doing this. You get like that. You get time, me. babe. Say, no, not, not the time. But he might, he might, you see, because some man, he might be one of them guys who like it. But then that for him. Because some guys like this. Brother, this is you know what I'm saying. But this, but, this freaky thing is ridiculous. No, but you see, but no, but it's good and bad for her. Because she's win winning, to be fair. So she's just keep her mouth shut because she's won. How? Because she had sex with no protection, yeah? And then she had... <laughs> I'm trying to see where you're going with this. Go on. Let's have a look. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to see where you're going with this because this is... Uh, you know, the setup is crazy. The setup is crazy. <laughs> You know, this is mad, brains covering it. You see, the, you know, the madness is covering it. But it's not that mad. So, boom. It's the wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. <coughs> the setup right. is crazy. Go on. It's a win-win. 
because she had sex. She cheated, had sex without no protection. I'm looking in her face. She cheated and she had sex without protection. Then she went home and her man, you get me, went down on her. So when I say it's a win-win, because she got the look of sex from my man, now she don't have to worry about getting pregnant because my man suck out the whole <laughs> What are they them? Oh, you're disgusting, man. Oh, man. All right, so hold on. Do you, do you, listen, hold on. Do you, do you think that the fact that he says that it tasted nice, do you think that that makes him, like, do you think that he's a bit fishy? The pit did them taste nice. That's what he's supposed to say. The pit did them taste nice. It's nasty. Just for that. Yeah? No, that, the whole thing is wrong. The whole thing is wrong. I swear. You see, if you're supposed to be... All right, I know... So... My brother, yeah, I want to talk his business, but this was a long time ago. So if you're listening, my brother, I ain't going to say his name anyway, but he, he told me, he said one time, he used to have this little side thing, yeah? He's out of road, he's got his side thing. And he's trying to get home, innit? But she's saying, All right, just one more for the road. So he's saying, being with her again, let go some juice. He's getting home. She's gone to home, whatever. He's got home now. So his missus is awake. She's putting it on him. And he's coming through the door, kissing him up. And he's come upstairs. And I've like, missed you. You know, like. And he's saying, brother, he's saying, I couldn't. I had not, like, I had, I'm empty. Yeah. I'm empty. But she wants it. But I can't not I have to, I have to find the strength. So he's saying he have to find the strength. So he's struggling to, and trying to make up excuses and trying to get, you know, just trying to get out of it. Mm-hmm. So anyway, he must have said something and then just kind of caused a bit of an argument and gone to bed. The next day, his girl is like, listen, you've like, you've been doing something. Mm-hmm. You've never, you don't turn down sex. Like you've been doing something. Mm-hmm. So he got bagged. I don't know how, he, I don't know the ins and outs of how he got bagged, but basically he got bagged because he didn't have sex with his missus. Do you get what I'm saying? So, I say all of that to say, I think that a lot of people will have a certain amount of road, and when they come home, get involved in anything. And that's why she didn't stop him, because she didn't want it to be out of the ordinary. So wait She's come look. home, and he's chucked it on her. Look, wait, stick a pin on she that. She can't stop him. So stick a pin on that. So the story that you gave with your bridging mm. is that he just couldn't get up. No, he's, he, I don't know if he couldn't get it. I don't know the ins and outs, as I'm saying, but he's saying the reason that he got caught is because he come home and couldn't... Perform. Or he just couldn't do it. Or for whatever reason, or maybe he stunk, maybe he didn't want to take off his clothes. I don't know the ins and outs. But all I know is he was saying he knew he shouldn't have dealt with his side thing just before he left. Because now he's come home, he's either can't get it up or he knows he can't work it or he stinks or whatever. He just wanted to just go in the bath. And that made his relationship finish. Because he's... He, because his his woman's come, he's come home. His woman's put it on him, and now he's got to act funny. He can't deal with her. He can't deal with her, so he's making up an argument. He's saying, "Brother, I, she just she just felt that it was all dodgy, and then it was on." As I said, I don't know the internet. He didn't tell me how it how she bust him, but she bust him. He's an idiot. What would you have done? The way I've got Billy Cramp on me, I do up myself, baby. Right now, even chat to me right now. Because right now, I'm... You say you run in the house and... Oh, sh- and I'm in the toilet. toilet. I'm in the toilet. I'm shit. Yeah, toilet. Sitting there, and there I'm time dead. There. You ain't got yeah, happening. and I'm there lying down in agony. <laughs> you, you, you want a cup of tea? Yeah, give me a cup of tea. Ooh, fuck. I don't know what I don't know what I ate, baby. But then she's going to... But so what happens when you go in the toilet and you're in the toilet for an hour because you're going to be playing, you're going to be acting. Yeah. And then as you come out, she goes in there to help clean up and it don't stink. No, she, no, no, I'm just saying, what happens? It's, it's not going to stink because we're water shit, you idiot. Brother, when your belly stink that bad. No, it's not. So when you got, gonna, it's so not how are you going to make the noise? What are you going to do? I don't have to make my... I'm hurting and it's not coming out. I'm constipated. Baby, make some ginger tea. Right now, I'm, I'm vexed now. I can't do the... I can't do the... I can't do the... Baby, make me some mint tea. I'm ready to grow oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man's make it, brother. You can't go full hog. It's your relationship. You better put on an Oscar blood clot with it. That's why you're fucking bitching 
get, get loose with his little B Tech film he's self. Gonna, I'm now up to he's gonna watch in the mood. Like a heater. Yeah, I'm but in the, the mood. Come in and just lie down. You got to play. Remember, you're saving. This is for your relationship. You, if someone says, act for your relationship, yeah. save it. Yeah. I'm, hey, yeah, yeah, Clooney, Benzo Washington don't have nothing on, on blood clot me. It just to say, Russ, this guy's bad. This guy's bad. Well, I just believed you right then and then. There you go. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're fucking mad. After coming, look how much money that's happened to Straight away, on, on, yeah. on smoke, straight away. Yeah, and I'm just going to sleep, baby. I'm going, and I'm going to sleep. She ain't got time to be kissing you at the door. No, and I'm going to sleep. That little one hour nap yeah. recharged me. I'm good to go now. You might wake up. Hello? Up. The ginger tea's work, baby. Come yeah, on, yeah, come here now. <laughs> come here, man. I work good yesterday. Yeah, the ginger tea work. Yeah, give yourself a nap. Recharge it, idiot. We need to look at recharge. Yeah, go yeah, sleep. That is fun. Okay, well, there, yeah, well, there you go. But this, so this is like, Cheaters one on one. No, I don't know about that. I'm saying this is cheater guide one on one. I'm just saying, brother, no. you've just you've just cracked the code. You see, there's cheaters right now watching, and you've just helped them because there's man saying you don't know what to do in this situation. Idiot. And you've just how you not know what to do? Because you because not everybody's like been to your classes, <laughs> <laughs> brother. You clearly an expert. Clearly. You say you, you, not, what, would you uh, what would you do? That could, wouldn't happen to me. I wouldn't be having a side thing. So it couldn't, I don't know. I, wouldn't, I don't even want to even think about what I See, sis, let me tell you this. The people who um, love this podcast because we're real. They like the realness. They I'm being honest. They fucking like the realness. I don't, so don't, don't say be, I'm being honest and then lie. Yo, people, listen, make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash elephant in the room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode. All right. Because you can see we've just cut the episode short in it. So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You're also going to get some exclusive content over there. You're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing. You're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and are going to have the opportunities. All right. So jump over to Patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room. All right. So join us over on Patreon and peace.